With more than 900,000 users globally, Dexcom is a major CGM player and we all have a lot to look forward to in 2021 with the highly anticipated launch of the brand new Dexcom G7. So to celebrate the highly anticipated launch of G7 and the fact that UK is actually hosting a G7 summit this year, I thought I'd break down everything that you need to know about the upcoming Dexcom G7. Hi, it's Camille, Nerdbetic, your diabetes tech guy. If you are also into diabetes tech, please consider subscribing to be up to date on all diabetes tech stuff. So, in this video, I'm breaking down everything that we know about the upcoming Dexcom G7. So let's start from the beginning and talk about the sensor itself. So, G7 will be Dexcom's first ever all-in-one sensor. So the transmitter is actually built into the sensor, so it's all-in-one. So up until now, from the very first Dexcom transmitter, all the way to Dexcom G6, there was always a transmitter and a sensor, and they worked together to measure your glucose level. Well, with Dexcom G7, everything is built into one, very similar to what we have with the Freestyle Libre. Beyond this, Dexcom G7 will be 60% smaller compared to Dexcom G6. And so I've built this mock-up just to give you a rough idea of how much smaller Dexcom G7 is compared to G6. Now, this is not like hugely precise, but just to give you some flavor of just how much smaller G7 is when compared to the G6. The sensor itself will last for 10 days, so it has the same wear time as the current G6. However, Dexcom is already working on extending that wear time to 14 to 15 days, which was the original plan. So at launch, it will be 10 days. So you will need three sensors per month. Um, well, for most months, uh, you know what I mean? You know, some months are like 31 days, some are 28 days, but you know, roughly three sensors per month. Um, <laughs> if you want to learn more, just open the calendar app on your phone and you see what I mean. Uh, but eventually it will be extended to 14 to 15 days so that you only need two sensors per month. We don't have timings on when the extension will happen, but we know that Dexcom is working on it. And um, they've already done similar things in the past. So in South Africa, they had a Dexcom G6 Plus system. So the Dexcom G6 Plus sensor lasted for 14 days, as opposed to 10 days that we have. It has since been removed from the market. Uh, but we know that G7 will ultimately be uh, a two week sensor. In terms of accuracy of G7, it will be just as accurate as G6, if not more accurate. We don't know exactly what the uh, MARD, the, the accuracy number of it will be as of today, uh, because Dexcom is still performing some final clinical trials. But um, it, it looks like it will be more accurate than G6. Now, it will most importantly meet the ICGM accuracy specifications, um, meaning that it's, it's extremely accurate throughout, but especially accurate in the low range um, of glucose. Of course, it will be approved as an ICGM, so it's unroppable, so it can be connected to various hybrid closed-loop systems, connected pens, and apps, health apps, and everything in between. Now, speaking of hybrid closed loop systems, I've recently designed a hy commercial hybrid closed loop systems diagram and I've done a video about all 10 commercial hybrid closed loop systems. Out of those 10 hybrid closed loop systems, eight of them work with Dexcom. So if you want to learn more about all eight systems that work with Dexcom, some already commercially available, some in a pipeline, uh, the entire video is up here and is based on this diagram. I'm currently working on a similar diagram for the connected pen space and I will be um, doing a video about that at some point as well. So if you want to um, check that, make sure you are subscribed to, to, to be notified when that comes out. G7 is expected to be launched with a one hour warm up time, which is half of the current two hour warm up that we have with the G6. G7 will launch with a brand new app. It looks similar to the Dexcom G6 app, but there are some visual improvements. I think it looks slightly better. There are some more rounded edges, which is a nice design improvement and a low cost receiver. 
and based on the pictures that I've seen, the Dexcom G7 receiver will not be a touchscreen receiver. So the G6 receiver has a touchscreen, so you know you can touch it, and there is only one home button. But the Dexcom G7, based on the pictures that I've seen, is it's a non-touchscreen device, and there are actual buttons up, down, etc. Um, and I think that's why Dexcom is referring to it as a low-cost receiver, because from a manufacturing point of view, it's much cheaper to make something that doesn't have a touchscreen and just has buttons. Uh, but there is a dedicated receiver in case you do not want to use your phone. Speaking of receivers and apps, of course, G7 will have a dedicated Apple Watch app, so you can view your glucose data on your watch. No word as of yet about direct to watch but i really really hope g7 will be launched with a direct to watch feature from the get-go so for those of you who don't know direct to watch was a feature announced in partnership with apple in 2017 and basically it means that when it is enabled i will be able to go for a walk leave my phone at home and my dexcom g7 would connect directly to the watch so all the alarms the data my graph trend everything like that will be sent directly to the watch and there will be no need to carry a phone around um and um i really hope g7 will be launched with direct watch from the get-go so when can we get it when is it coming well Dexcom is currently finalizing their clinical trials in the US, I mentioned them earlier, to ensure that they get the ICGM classification. They are doing well and they are on track to be launching the G7 in the US in the second half of 2021, so in a couple of months. And Dexcom G7 will also be launched in key markets outside of the US at the same time in second half of 2021. Now, Based on the fact that G6 was launched here in the UK straight after the US and the UK was the second country to get the G6 after the US, I think it's pretty fair to assume that G7 uh, will be coming to the UK this year as well. Uh, and I can't wait. I'm very excited. I'm on great as soon as I can. So I can't wait. So that's everything that we know about G7. Um, the only thing that we really don't know about it at this point is the price and when it will be extended to 14 to 15 days. Um, and so that's the G7. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Are you excited? Are you upgrading from the G6 or the G5 or of the CGM? Or what are your thoughts? I would love to hear from you. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to chatting in the comments. And let me know how you're doing. Hope you're doing okay. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you are into diabetes tech, if you're interested. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.